Hi everybody, it's Kathy and I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. Uh, I know I've been MIA, but I have been shopping and I have a load of stuff to show you guys. Um, I've got a couple of bags out that I'm going to show you and then there's more to come. Hopefully I'm going to be able to uh, record a couple of videos before uh, I leave for Connecticut on Friday. I'm going to Connecticut for a couple days. Friday afternoon, be back Sunday afternoon. I'm um, going to go help my sister babysit her granddaughter. And uh, so if you're new to my channel, my name is Kathy and I am your host here today. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I hope you'll think about it. Uh, I have a good time here and um, I don't know. You just can't beat the things you can get at the Dollar Tree. It just amazes me sometimes. It's just unbelievable uh i did go to the dollar tree today on my lunch hour and um i picked up a bunch of stuff i went i went in for like four or five things got none of the things they had none of the things i had on my list but i still ended up with a bag full of stuff so anyway uh, one other thing i want to say to you guys is don't forget to hit the thumbs up um that really helps my channel and uh you know, it gets it out there more for people to see. So don't forget when you're leaving a comment to make sure you hit that like button. Um, I noticed on a lot of uh, YouTubers, they have like, you know, hundreds of thousands or, you know, tens of thousands of viewers and they only get like, you know, a thousand likes or 800 likes. Um, I noticed on my last video, it was a little bit light on the likes. So make sure you give me that thumbs up when you go to leave a comment. And even if you don't want to leave a comment, give me that thumbs up. And as I said, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I upload a video, which is not as frequently as some YouTubers. I don't, I, I swear to God, I don't know how they do it every day. Or every other day I really don't know how they have a life and and they have they edit it and stuff I don't edit I don't know how to but who has the time who's got the time really um, so I just want to throw out there um, a friend of mine from YouTube Fran is having a really hard time with uh, some medical issues and I wish you all would send some prayers out to her um, yeah, she's having a difficult time right now, and I really would love all of you to send prayers out to Fran. And uh, you know what? Let's get on with this haul. I'm all dolled up here because I just got out of work, and I wanted to get this done because I got a meeting tonight, and I want to get this done for you guys. So, all right, let's start with uh, some craft stuff. First thing I picked up was these floral... Uh, not floral, but like, uh, what are they calling them? Pumpkin maple, uh, floral? No, I don't know <laughs> what you call it. Um, arrangement. Yeah, that's a good word. Arrangement. So I got it. I got two of them in this orange color, which I really think is such a pretty light. It's not too bright orange. And it's got the maple leaves and it's got the little berries and it's got pumpkins. And I made sure that both of them had two pumpkins because it was supposed to have two pumpkins. And I just made sure they both had the pumpkins. And then I got this like cream color one with the pumpkins. And these have three pumpkins on them. I don't know whether I'm missing a pumpkin on these or not. I could possibly be because I see some stems here that are missing something. I don't know, but I got them. I thought I, you know, maybe put them together in some kind of arrangement. I really, really like this off-white pumpkin. I'm into that this year, the more muted colors. Um, I'm not really a Halloween fan and that bright orange just reminds me of Halloween. On some things I like it, but I'm more like a, I like this orange better, but this is the white one, just really pretty. I know there's another one that's blue with white, but I have yet to see it, have yet to see it. I was really looking for that one, but I thought this white one was really nice as well. 
So I got those. And I picked up these wood clothespins, a pack of 24. And they're a little bigger than the last ones I got. Um, remember I told you I was going to put use these on um, that last thing we got that was wire. The picture frame. The wire picture frame. I got these to see if these would hold um, more pictures um, better. Do I have my... No, I don't. No, I don't have my measuring tape. I was using it to measure some light fixtures here the other day. I want to replace a couple light fixtures in my house and I must have left it somewhere. All right. So, you know, um, it probably says on here. Yes, it does. They're 1.87 inches. Ugh. And then I found after Marsha from Marsha's Mush and Stuff sent me the wire wheel frame. What did I find? More of the wire wheel, bicycle wheel wreath ring is what they're calling it. Looks like a bicycle wheel. Yes, it does. You could do all kinds of things with this. You could hang pictures from it. You can make a wreath out of it. There's just a gazillion things you can do with it. So I picked up three of them. Um, even if you wanted to like do something where you made it more like that, you know, kind of offset the the wheel spokes. That would be really cool. So I got three of them. So now I'm all set with those. I finally found the brass wreath rings. I don't know that these are actually brass. It says they are, but who knows? Does it say if they really are? No, it just says green briar. Brass wreath rings. They look painted to me they look like painted wreaths if you look close it just looks like brown painted it doesn't really look brass to me it has that more painted feel to it but I got them anyway and I found two of the wreath uh, stands I got two of them Let me show you how this works if I can figure it out um how does this work? It's supposed to stand up like this. So your wreath stands up. Okay. You got a hook up here and a hook down here to hold the wreath in place. Um, see the hook on the top and on the bottom. I'm not showing this very good. And then it's got the easel like stand in the back. So it would stand like this. If that is helping you at all with this, I don't know. I'm not a good, you know, videoer because I, I don't know how to do all the fancy things everybody does. So I just show things the best way I can. And hopefully you like it. Um, I picked up another of the Crafter Square retractable holder holders for um, pens and pencils. If you guys haven't seen this before, which I'm sure most of you have, um, I picked this up to put in a giveaway because I want to do a craft giveaway. But um, it will hold pens, pencils, scraps of yarn, and it will get as big as you want it to. It can be this big or it can be smaller. It untwists. Probably about there would be the biggest it would be and then you just twist it to fit the size of whatever you put it in and it gets as small as that okay that's pretty cool I think it's really cool you put all kinds of stuff in here I don't know why you would put pictures in there unless they were drawings it says for brush for pencil for picture and it says it can extend to 14.5 inches so that's how big that is. I got a couple already, but I think that this thing is so cool. And uh, I thought you guys might like it in a giveaway. So I picked one up for you guys. I have a bunch of giveaways that I'm trying to put together over here. And it's just a matter of time before I can get them together and do some giveaways. Uh, got very few toys this time. 
um, I picked up this little cute, cutie, cute, cute um, little doggy for Evelyn. Got this little doggy for Evelyn. He's so soft. And uh, get the tag out of the way. And he's pink and he's white and he's. She just, everything you give her, like a, do a doll or a stuffed animal or whatever, she takes it and hugs it, holds it and hugs it. It's so cute. <coughs> Excuse me. Just <coughs> swallowed air down the wrong hole. <coughs> Not deleting this <coughs> or editing. I found the uh, Minions little stuffed doohickeys, the Rise of Gru. Got this guy. Thought he was cute with the little teddy bear. And his name is Bob. Looks like that. And they're just little squishy, soft things. And they're just so cute. I love the Minions. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And this one is Otto. His little tag says his name. That's the only reason I know their names. But he's cute too. I think one of them had a sad face or was crying. And I was like, why would you want a minion with a sad face? I don't know. So I didn't get it. And then I found the Colors of the World coloring book by Crayola. And I also got the crayons. But Caroline already got into them. So... I don't have them to show you, but they are all basically uh, skin colors, all different color skin colors. There's all shades of people's skin, and that's why it's called Colors of the World, which I think is really cool. So I got that for uh, the kids. Really fun, fun, fun. But I got that. <clears throat> that's all my crafts and toys um oh this should go over there uh i found some new pens you know i love these um hold on i took the tags off of all of these i bought two sets of these but i took the tags off one set i got these pens they're like the diamond pens that i had before but this time they have little crystals in the top here. And these babies are the smoothest writing things I ever, you just love them. You twist it and there's the point. Twist it back, it came in purple. It came in pink. It came in blue. And it came in like a paler pink, almost rose gold. But these are the four colors that it comes in and I love, 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 love these pens. So I, got, I took the tags off these and I got another set to have for when these run out because I love these. Love, love, love them. And if you can't find them in Dollar Tree, I also found a couple in Dollar General. Dollar General and Dollar Tree are <clears throat> owned by each other. I don't know who owns which one, but they own each other, Dollar General and um, Dollar Tree. So sometimes you can find things from Dollar Tree in Dollar General. Not most of it, but some things you're like, oh, they sell this at Dollar Tree. So I did find them originally. I found two of them in... Uh, uh, Dollar General. I also picked up some Crayola poster markers in the pink and purple. You guys saw in my last video, Caroline's drawing. She loves to draw in color. So I like to, you know, encourage that. I also picked up a purple dry erase marker by Expo, brand name expo and this is the low odor chisel tip they have three different tips they have ultra fine fine and chisel you can see on the back there if that's i see that at all so 
I like the bigger ones when we put the big easel up and we play school. You know, she likes to be the teacher and I get to be the teacher and the bigger ones are easier to work with. <clears throat> I found a couple of shirts that um, Dollar Tree has uh, come out with t-shirts during this time. I can never find anything for myself, barely. Um, and I did get a bunch before, but now I don't even look because I just have more t-shirts and I know what to do with plain ones anyway. And uh, so I picked up these couple little t-shirts for Caroline to use as nightgowns because she prefers nightgowns over pajamas. Um, I prefer to her to wear pajamas, but sometimes, you know, you just got to let those arguments go. So I found her this purple shirt. It's kind of big, which was why I thought it would fit her as a nightgown. It's actually saying it's an adult extra small, but... I don't know too many adults that will fit in that. I mean, maybe. I'm just not an extra small person, so it just kind of looks way too small for an adult to me, but <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe extra small adults can wear that. And then I got, this is a youth. This is a youth extra small, and I just got this one, you know, to for her to sleep in. She won't like it. I know she won't because it's not pretty. It doesn't have any characters on it. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. They were only a dollar. She doesn't like them. I'll donate them to charity. Or, you know, I don't know. Whatever. I also picked up some stickers. Imagine that. These were just too cute. I couldn't let them go. Um, they are by Jot and there's 96 of them. How stinking cute are these? You got unicorns, you got narwhal unicorns, you got um, llamas, what else is in it? Foxes, dogs, cat, catty corns, little catty corn there, love it. And then I got these again. I wasn't sure whether I got them or not, but they're too cute and I will use these on uh, packages. Very cute, so cute, so stinking cute. You get nine of these, you get 96 of these. They're little, but they're so stinking cute, I can't even. All right, <clears throat> next thing. All right, I wanna show you guys this. I'm just amazed by it. I can't believe that these are in Dollar Tree for a dollar because they are the bomb. They are the best, the best phone holder I have ever purchased from Dollar Tree or anywhere else. And this is what it looks like, okay? This is what the package looks like if you're going to look for it. There's the UPC code. I don't know why people ask for that sometimes, but there it is. Comes in this black and gray box. This one is blue. <coughs> this one is black. <coughs> this one is hot pink, which I really love. And this one is like a silver clear type one. So, <coughs> excuse me today. This is what it looks like out of the box. Okay, it says VIP on it. And it's got little suction cups on both ends. So you can use it either way. Works either way. So I use my phone to film. So I got a case. <coughs> wow, I didn't bring a drink, so sorry. So you take your phone, you take this end of the um, phone holder, press it against there. What? What? You can bend this. It's a little hard to bend, but you can bend it and move it any way you want. And then I need something flat. All right, how about this? You take the other end and stick it on your table. Look at it. 
Look it, look it, look it. Is that the best phone holder ever? Ever, ever, ever? I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. I saw another hauler. This was like one of her top 10 things to get from Dollar Tree. And I was like, oh my God, that thing is awesome. And I thought, I'm probably going to get it and it's probably going to stink. But I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Look at that. And it. look at this hot pink. I love it. Comes in black, blue, and um, clear slash silver. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So I'm real. I actually used it last night. <clears throat> I had all my stuff laid out here and I was like, oh man, there's no room on this table. So I suction cupped my phone on there and I sat here and watched TV and I could still look at my phone. And yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And I love that sound of uh, suction cups coming off every time you take it off. So that's another cool thing. So this one is mine. I, I bought two of the pink, two of the clear, a blue and a black, because I thought I would give, hmm, I got the pink and the silver for me. Uh, I think I got the pink for, I don't know. I know I got the blue or the black for Andrew and <coughs> Jordan. They both have phones. Jordan got a phone for graduation. So now he's got a phone that he can use a phone holder with. I don't know what I was like. These are the best gifts ever, 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 ever. And I found them in the Saratoga store. I had been asking my manager to look out for these. Found them in Saratoga and they had a bunch of them. But that was a couple weeks ago. This is an old haul. <coughs> then I found these placemats. You know why I got these. You know why I got these. I got two of them. There's two here with the black and white plaid. I don't know whether I am going to use one here on my coffee table or whether I'm going to use them in my, on my dining room table. And I got the red. The red ones I think were out before and I did get them or something similar to these a year or so ago. But I love these because they they wipe off so nice that, you know, you don't have to put them in the washing machine and they get all shrunk up and whatever. But look at black and white, black and white. I'm obsessed with it. I saw the red at first and I was like, oh, my red kitchen. Then I saw the black and white and I was like, what? what? Give me those. And I was going to get all black and white. And then I said, no, black and white is in my living room. I don't want to just like my whole house be black and white. So we're going to kind of keep the red in the dining room, but still kind of bring the little black and white out there too. So <clears throat> that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Then I picked up these jars. I got a couple of these before, but what I really like about these is they do seal tight, I think. And <clears throat> you can see in, from the top what's in it. So if it's on the counter and you can't, you know, see the sides, you can look in the top, look on the top and say, oh, that's what's in there. So, <clears throat> and you could stack them if you wanted. <clears throat> really sorry about the coffin, you guys. Really, really sorry. Then I found this magnet. Let the weekend begin. Yes. Two more days. Oh my gosh. Two more days. And then I got this one. Oh, these are the um, large ceramic type ones. These are kind of like my favorite ones because they're so, the magnet is so big on them and they're just really cool. And then I got this one that says, believe in yourself. Really like the writing on that. And of course, this one is the um, ceramic as well. I picked up, uh, this was new. I found this in Saratoga as well, which I saw in Manans yesterday too. 
or today. It's a paint perfect edge maker. Perfect paintbrush for complex, intricate paint jobs. Door, window, edge, and trim paint. Corners, ceilings, and floors. Water and oil-based paints. Stain and varnish. <clears throat> Accurate detail, cutting in for decorating and painting. And this is not a green bar, green briar product. It's by Core Pacific out of Houston, Texas. Made in Taiwan, though. But I just thought they, that would be great because I want to paint a couple of rooms in my house. I don't know if I'm going to do it or I'm going to hire somebody to do it. I really want to hire somebody to do it because, man, who's got time to paint a room? Not me. Not me. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Then I got these AAA Energizer Max batteries. You only get two, but they're Energizer. And I was looking at the price of Energizer batteries, and they're really expensive. I normally get the Dollar Tree batteries, but I thought I would get a few packs of these to put in my remotes. Toys and stuff, light uh, flashlights, whatever. But you got to have a good battery in your remote. Because there's nothing worse than your remote not working. When you're all comfied up on the couch and you got your little bowl of ice cream. And the remote stops working. So I got these Energizer Max. I don't know. I saw a commercial the day before or something. I don't know. I don't know how they got me to buy them. But they did. Number one, long-lasting Max. 10-year shelf life. I don't know. Then I picked up these two little, um, what are they? 2022 planners. Just thought they were really pretty. Inside, it's got the months, the holidays, the year in review, all the days of the week. And I love that it has lines you can write on. I love, love, love lined paper. And this big old sticker comes off on the back, but I just thought that was so pretty. And then I got this one. <clears throat> they had like three or four or five different ones. And these were the two that really stuck out to me. And this one, again, has that big sticker on the back. But it comes off. Yeah, I like those. Then I picked up this pack of pencils for um, Caroline and Evelyn. No, Caroline and Madeline to put in their... Um, what are they? Pencil boxes. Yes, that's where we. That's where you would keep pencils, is in the pencil box. Um, but I got these for the girls because I thought they were just really, really pretty. There's white with hearts on it, yellow with red flowers, and like a teal with butterflies. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm trying to hold it as close as I can without the... There we go without the reflection and then we got the erasers <clears throat> yeah and you get 12 of them so there's four of each so each one gets two works for me I like to I have this obsession with buying school supplies I'm just I love paper I love pens I love school supplies so I just buy them and I just go nuts in the school supply section. I've been trying to be really good this time because I've saw some really cute notebooks and I'm like, no, stop. And I also do, um, <coughs> the Columbiettes that I belong to do a school supply drive before school. So I do kind of stock up for that too and donate that to um, kids that don't can't afford to buy their own school supplies. All right, so. I only got a couple more things left. I'm going to do party next. I found these plastic cups and they are happy birthday cups. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, happy birthday. And these are um, by that AmScan. Apparently people have been saying that, that these are from Party City. Um, <coughs> actually, I will open one just so we can really look at the cup. Because it's kind of hard to see with the plastic. But 
it's always good to have a stash of birthday stuff because when you go to find what you're looking for, 99% of the time they don't have it. So these are nice cups. Yeah, look at these. Nice sturdy cups. Say happy birthday on them with some balloons. Could be male or female. You know, good kids. Kids, adults, whatever. You get eight cups, which isn't a lot, but... They are 16-ounce cups, and I got two packs. Two packs. I like to use uh, plastic cups sometimes. I just, you know, when I don't think I really want to wash some dishes, I'll use a plastic cup. And I'll use it a couple times, and then I'll put it in the recycle bin. Because I do that. <clears throat> a couple other um, party things that I got. I got the balloon glue where you can hang balloons on the wall like this. It comes on a little strip like this and you pull a little tab off and you can glue balloons to the wall. Really cool. There's the directions on the back. Like I said, you gotta have party stuff ready because I never know. I picked up two more of these colorful fillers. Um, yeah, let me show you back in the front. They are like a round, they look like this inside the package, except they're colored like this, and it ends up making a bag uh, filler. For bags, baskets, and boxes, one swirl. Hanging length is 3.3 feet, <coughs> 40 inches. Fills one large or extra large bag. And you know what? It's easy to use these. So I was like, let me get these before they disappear. Got those. Then I saw these um, hanging decorations, 7.5 inches, and it's a cupcake. Those honeycomb type things, you know, they open around like that. And then there's a blue one. I probably should open one of these, huh? I just hate to open it because then you got to try and get it back in the package. But for you guys, I'll do it. Okay? I'll do it. You guys crack me up. You don't crack me up. I crack me up. So this is smaller than I thought, but it's cute, cute, cute. Look at this little cutie patootie. Seven and a half inches. I thought it was bigger. I guess I didn't read the directions. And honestly, in the size of the package, I should have known it wasn't huge. But how cute is that? How cute is that? And then there's a blue one. I got the blue one too. Just adorable. And you let go of it. And you put it away for next time. Or you just chuck it in the garbage. Whatever you choose. Whatever you choose. But it, the packaging, you know, gets me sometimes. I see the packaging. I'm like, ooh, what is that? So, I got those. I picked up some gift sacks. I got these in the, um, like, holographic look. They're just bags. Decorative. Decorative bags. And I got six of them in this color. And this one is the one that really caught me. This one was the one on the end. It's purple. And I thought maybe Caroline could use these for her birthday party when she has it. And this would go together. Just cute. And you could use it for other things besides sacks. You could use it as a background. You could craft with this. You could do all kinds of... Whoa! You could do all kinds of crafting stuff with these. And I was like, yeah, I got to get these. I got to get these. Not that I do crafts. I never... I have visions in my head. But they just don't come to fruition. <sighs> I'm going to do Health and Beauty last. Um, I got books. I got some books. Some really good books. I picked up this book for my friend Lucy... Lucy Lucy Merritt because it's called Lenny and Lucy. It retailed for 
$17.99. It's got a jacket on it. The cover is not anything to, so you gotta keep the jacket on it so it looks fun. But it's just a little, she's only nine, so <clears throat> I don't know. It's got her name on it, and I thought, oh, I'll have to send that to Lucy because she always sends me these great drawings. So I got that for you, Lucy. Then I found this uh, Julep Southern Cocktails Refashioned. Always nice to have some cocktails. And this sold for, I don't know, because it's covered up. But it's a nice book, so I'm sure it was a lot of money. All different kinds of cocktails. Yummy yum. Let's see what we got here. <coughs> Let's see what we got here. An Old Fashioned. Mississippi Punch. Trick of the Trade. Orchard Spritzer. Ooh, a Saratoga. That's that's a, a famous horse track near me. Saratoga, that's pretty cool. And I just thought it was really cool. Then you got Toddy's. Here's a Cherry Bounce Sour. Anyway, I got it. Southern Cocktails Refashioned. So I got that. Then I got Happiness on a Slice of Bread, Better on Toast. 70 Irresistible Recipes. And everything is better on toast. I am a bread lover. Caroline is a bread lover. Love, love, love me some bread. And this sold for $27.99. And look at these, the deliciousness on the front of these, on the front of this. Let's see what we got going on here. Mm, look at those yummy, yummy, yummies. Those yummies. Oh, that looks delicious. Marinated shrimp, celery, and green olives. Yum. Grape and goat. Grapes and goat cheese on bread. Mm, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Apricot stuffed French toast. There's the recipe. And then there is that yummy, delicious picture. Yes. So I got that. Then I found the Happy Cookbook. It includes sugar-free, gluten-free, and paleo recipes, which, whatever. 130 Whole Food Recipes for Health, Wellness, and a Little Extra Sparkle by Lola Berry. Yes. This is covered up as well. But there just looked like some really yummy <clears throat> things in here. I was probably starving. There's some spicy coconut shrimp. I love fish. Love fish. I just saw something else. Oh, look at these. Deliciousness. Look at this deliciousness. Just yum. Yum, yum, yum. Yummy, yummy, yummy for my tummy. And I am so hungry. Pineapple crumble with vegan mint and lime ice cream. Look at this cake. Oh. Love me some chocolate cake. So I got that. And the Home Cook's Guide to Journaling. Cook delicious meals at home using journaling to keep you organized. This I thought I might, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I don't know that I'm going to journal while I cook. But really some yummy looking things in here. Beef bourguignon. One pot wonders. Creamy no-bake mac and cheese. Uh, charcuterie boards. Uh, just yummy, yummy. Salmon and tahini lemon sauce. Mm -hmm -hmm. Just oh, love anything with an egg on it too. Have you ever had a hamburger with an egg on it? If you think it's gross, I got to tell you, you have to try it. You have to try it. It is 
the bomb. The bomb. And I don't know how these got <clears throat> in my bag because I did not purchase them, but on a lot of the ends of the counters in my store, <clears throat> they have stacks of magazines and somehow they must have scooped these up. I got two of them called Clean It Naturally. I must have scooped them up and put them, put them in my bag. Do it yourself dry clean, deodorant build up tear down, close the window on dirty curtains, cleaning lampshades and light bulbs, all kinds of cleaning tips. <clears throat> so I ended up with two of these. I may put one of these in a giveaway or give one to a friend. Don't know, can't say. All right, I gotta get wrapping up here. I'm on 40 minutes. I found this leopard headband. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Can't really see it on my head, but I just loved it. Caroline won't wear it. I will on some occasion, but love that. It's like a silky type material. And I like that it's got like on the bottom, it's got, feels like it's got ribbon wrapped around it, if you can see that at all. <clears throat> I scored on the makeup in Saratoga. Scored on the makeup. I bought four of each of the things I found because I intend on giving away three of them in a giveaway. So, first thing I found was this Milani Stellar Lights Holographic Lip Gloss. And it's like a purple and it's sparkly. And I hope you can see that. Um, Milani, I'm guessing is a name brand cause it's not, it's called Kaleidoscope and it's cruelty free. And it's out of uh, Los Angeles, California. MilaniCosmetics.com. I hope you can see that. I don't know. You can, it's glittery, purple glittery, really, really pretty. I was like, all right, let me snatch four of those. Then I found <clears throat> some hard candy plumping serum. Uh, brilliant. It is in the color Swan Lake. And it's like a, like a light pink peachy color but it's hard candy i was like what hard candy makeup well, i never find hard candy makeup am i holding that upside down so it's not saying hard candy to you but i got four of those one for myself and three for a giveaway it's number one three eight nine then i found four of these wet and wild photo focus porcelain um and these this is stick foundation stick foundation and that's the color on that i'm going to take this off because this one's going to be mine i thought that was pretty good with my color i like that a lot i got four of those yep these were hanging on a hook Four of those, three to give away, one for myself. I might not put them all in giveaways. I might give them away as well because my friend Connie wears makeup and I like to share my really good finds with her if she wants it. Then I found some Mega Glow by Wet n Wild and this is Liquid Highlighter in the color rosy and ready and there's that color if you are seeing i don't know if the color is showing up but it's a really pretty color and it is liquid highlighter and i got four of those these are in a glass bottle and the last thing, I actually love the packaging on this. And then I saw the color and I was like, ooh, so pretty. This is hard candy as well. New, look at the packaging. It's got um, like rhinestones on it. And I got four of those. 
they really had a bunch of them and I was just like, okay, so you don't mind if I get four, do you? Let's see what we got going on here. I know a lot of people swatch stuff. I'm going to do a little swatch, swatchy swatch for you. Do a little swatchy swatch for you. All right, this is a very, like, uh, muted color. I like it a lot. I like it very much. I like it very much. Do, we, do you want me to swatch the other stuff? Okay, fine, I will. If I can get it open quickly. If I can get it open quickly enough. I don't know that I can, because it looks like it's gonna be hard to open. Oh dear Lord, so how are you guys today? It's Wednesday, hump day. I can't get this one open. How about this one? How about this one? Can I get this one open? Let's give it a try. I. Why do they make these things so difficult? Oh, well, I know why they make them so difficult to open because <clears throat> back in the day, people were poisoning people by putting stuff in makeup and things that you could open and I don't know, craziness. Crazy world we live in. All right, come on, get open. All right, so this is the Halo Liquid Highlighter. Let's shake that up a little bit and see what this looks like. Let's see how you even put it on. Is there a little thing in here? Oh yes, there is. Whoa. Yes, it's got this big old plumping soft brush. Let's see, this is, uh, okay, that's pretty. That's pretty, pretty. That's a big old, if you guys can see this, you see that? It's like, a, it's a highlighter. This one up here. Pretty cool, I like that. That's mine as well. What's the last thing I got? Oh, this is the Milani Kaleidoscope lip lipstick, lip serum, lip gloss. What is it? What is it? It is lip gloss, lip gloss. And this is the Milani Starlights, whatever, I don't know. What is it? Milani, Stellar Lights. Okay, and this, uh, come on, it was in a package and it needs to be wrapped. So that's what this is gonna look like. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, it's just as like a, has a little hint of purple to it, but it's a, it's a lip gloss. That's cute. Cutie cute, and it's got a little sparkle to it. Can you see that? I like it. I like it a lot. So, I don't know if I can get this back out without that. So I'm just gonna put that down for a second. And the only other thing I got, I got a couple of makeup bags. Hence, you know, what? Put the makeup in the bag, whatever. This one was really cute. It says sunny. Thought these would be fun to take to Florida. Sunny. And these are like a material. This one's got a zipper on the top. Whoops. It's caught. They always tell you to check the zipper. And it's just, you know, it's not lined or anything inside. It's just a little canvas bag. And, oh, don't tell me I got a bad zipper. Don't tell me. No, I got strings hanging. That's what the problem is. There we go. See? Strings hanging. So I got that one. I got this one that says good vibes only. And this one's got a brighter pink zipper. You know, just canvas bag. And the last one is chillin'. So I got chillin', sunny. See how that one's just a little bit different. This one's got like a peach color background. And they both have the peach zipper and the good vibes one. Really cute. Really, really cute. All right, guys. Like I said, I just got home from work. I wanted to get this stuff out to you. Uh, I had a pretty decent day. I hope you did as well. It's hotter than Hades here. It's uh, humid. And the best thing to do is to stay in. So if you are in New York or any of the surrounding 
states stay in stay in i plan to oh i do have a meeting tonight i have to go to but other than that i'm staying in um so hope you all have a wonderful wednesday and a wonderful couple of days till i see you again love you guys if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that uh subscribe button and thumbs up guys give me the thumbs up all right i'll talk to you soon bye now